Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com, partnered with navrepair.com. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove the Cadillac CTS center stack here. Um, a lot of you with Cadillacs know that there is an issue with these Q systems here where these do go bad. The digitizer or touchscreen sometimes doesn't work. Um, so you either need to repair it or replace it. So at infotainment.com, we send you a, a replacement. Um, just have to remove it, ship it in. Uh, well, we'll send you a, a unit, you'll send yours back, uh, or you can remove yours and send it to Nav Repair and they'll repair it and send it back to you. But to remove it, it's pretty easy. So basically what we want to do is we want to get up here and we want to pry this back. Now you can use a dash tool, you can use a, a regular head screwdriver, flat head screwdriver, but you just want to get behind it just enough so these clips come out. Now once these retaining clips pop out, you can actually remove this whole thing if you want. But ultimately all we're trying to do is get to the five, there's one here, 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 and here. There's five seven millimeter screws. All you need to do is remove those screws, which we have just done. Um, and we use this tool here, you know. Uh, it works out good, you know, coming along here, it's nothing too crazy and then over here as well we used it um, just takes a few minutes to do that once you do that you can just pop up the top part of the dash here which is also held in re with retaining clips once you remove those screws then you'll have two more screws here these are all seven millimeter Once you do that, you can just pull this part out. Work your way around. It's all held in with retaining clips. You could set that aside. Then that'll give you access to the six screws here. So we'll have a screw here. Now around the perimeter, you'll see six of them, and you'll need to remove those. This little piece here will have to come out as well. Just gives you access to those last two screws. This just pops out. All right, once you do that, this whole assembly just comes right out. And you just need to disconnect the connectors that are in the back. And the ones that are on the side here. Now it's out. Uh, now there is a bracket that goes around it that we do not need um, if you are um, sending it in for repair uh, You can remove these six here um, But nevertheless if you um, if you get one from the infotainment route um, You'll just have to remove this bracket Which holds on the little sides here um, these buttons um, You'll have to pop it off of this system here and put it on the one that that infotainment ships you So as you can see it took us about five minutes here uh, real easy to do yourself um, So come check us out if you want a replacement system comes with a one-year warranty go to infotainment.com Or if you want to have yours repaired uh, go to navrepair.com. Thanks for watching